Interesting facts about sea turtles. 1. There are seven different species of sea turtles. The seven species of sea turtles are green sea turtle, or soup turtle, chelonia mitas, loggerhead, or loggerhead turtle, or caretta, loggerhead, Atlantic reedle, lepidocles campii, bissa, or true caretta, eretmocles imbricata, flatback sea turtle, or Australian green turtle, natator depressus, leatherback turtle, or lute, dermochiles coriacea. The leatherback sea turtle can be found on both the east and west coasts of the United States, as well as Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. The flatback sea turtle can only be found off the coast of Australia and Papua New Guinea. The Atlantic Ridlia, Bissa, Coretta, and Green Sea Turtle are found in Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean waters. The Atlantic Ridlia lives mostly in the Gulf of Mexico, but can live in the Atlantic Ocean and has been seen in northern latitudes off the coast of Nova Scotia in Canada. 2. The Leatherback Turtle is the largest sea turtle. An adult leatherback turtle grows to about 1.8 to 2.2 meters in length. It is the largest species of sea turtle, and a mature specimen can weigh up to 900 kilograms. Leatherback turtles are the fourth heaviest among modern reptiles only three crocodile species are heavier than them. Leatherback turtles are also the only sea turtles that have a soft shell. It is covered with shields similar to dense skin. 3. Sea turtles help ecosystems. An integral diet of sea turtles is the ecosystem. They mostly eat algae, which activates and stimulates plant growth. Algae thickets are important breeding and development areas for many sea creatures, so it is important that these areas thrive. Regularly feeding on marine vegetation, turtles provide healthy, dense plantations of thickets as breeding habitat for other sea creatures. Along with algae, various sea turtles also eat other foods. For example, the leatherback turtle eats jellyfish, and the true caretta eats sea sponges. 4. The sex of a sea turtle is determined by temperature. When a sea turtle lays an egg, there is neither a male nor a female yet. Unlike most creatures whose sex is determined during fertilization, the deciding factor for the sex of future sea turtles is ambient temperature. If the temperature is higher than 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, the female will be born. If the temperature is lower, a male sea turtle will be born. Scientists have noticed a correlation. The warmer the sand, the higher the number of hatching females. 5. Sea turtles were once worshipped. Sea turtles were worshipped by the Moche people of Peru. The Moche, Machica, civilization existed on the northeastern coast of Peru from about 100 to 700 AD. Being an agricultural civilization known for their fishing, it is not surprising that they worship sea turtles. Many works of art and artifacts depict sea turtles, suggesting that they were of particular importance in Mocha society. It is believed that they may have been worshipped because of their ability to eat cubomedusa. A cubomedusa bite can be deadly to humans, so the more sea turtles eat them, the lower the risk for humans to be bitten by one. 6. Sea turtles may have a symbiotic relationship with barnacles. Symbiotic relationships between animals often arise when organisms of different species benefit from cohabitation. In this situation, barnacles benefit by attaching to and growing on sea turtles. They usually attach to the neck or shell of the sea turtle. There are three main reasons why sea turtles are great hosts for barnacles. First, they live a long life, so sea turtles don't have to worry about their host dying and looking for a new home. However, this protection can sometimes fail, as barnacles can attach themselves to an area of skin or shell that the turtle sheds. The second advantage is the constant supply of food. The location on the neck gives them access to food particles coming from the turtle's food source. Third, sea turtles travel considerable distances in different waters, so they can offer a wide variety of areas where the barnacles can spread their larvae. In these respects, the barnacles definitely benefit more than the sea turtles. 7. Turtle tourism is popular in Costa Rica. Some countries, such as Costa Rica, have focused their tourism industry on sea turtles. It has become popular to visit sea turtle protection projects during your vacation, and this type of tourism is called ecotourism. The place where this concept originated is considered the village of Tortuguero, Costa Rica. 
its inhabitants gave up sea turtle meat and shells in favor of conservation and ecotourism. The Caribbean Department of Conservation helped the locals create a protected turtle area where tourists, accompanied by a local guide, can see turtles nesting and hatching. It created not only a 35-kilometer safety zone for the turtles, but also jobs for local residents.